and I still remember very, very well my dean then, Professor Kemura, arranging for interviews for us in this university. And we got our letters in this university, and we were spoiled for choice. Madam Chancellor, why would I miss a chance to come and celebrate that heritage that was bequeathed to me by Nairobi University? I mean, the creation of this university. I came to this university uh, with a very little knowledge of business. But you can imagine what we were taken through when we did the Bachelor of Commerce Accounting option. And today, I joined my colleagues in managing an institution using that knowledge. The legacy of Nairobi University is not restricted to the building and the grounds that we stand on. But the legacy of Nairobi University constitutes and includes all the institutions that has been created by Tamina. Because if Nairobi University never made us who we are, those institutions will never have been. So that is why I came today to celebrate Nairobi University and to reclaim my sense of belonging, given only after half years. Every time I get a chance, I was here about two weeks ago because I had Professor Bibi, uh, he's being, uh, of course, we all knew what he was going through. And I said, that is a public gathering. I can revisit Nairobi University. <laughs> I came to Oblad to participate in seeing a chancellor uh, being uh, yeah, crowned in this university. But this is a special day. I have an invitation letter. <laughs> the question I uh, have for Professor Billy and Madam Chancellor, why has it taken 30 years <laughs> for you to invite me and have been waiting for the invitation <laughs> every day of my life so that I can come and show my gratitude. <laughs> so, what, what I'm saying is that uh, it is really great to hear appeals. But uh, there are two things I've learned. If you want to keep the fire burning, you must keep on pulling the rocks to the fire. The Nairobi University must have a mechanism of attracting and detaining its alumni connected to Nairobi University. Until that code is built, we'll keep on making calls, but it will never happen. We must, Nairobi University must find a mechanism of creating that pride of saying the university. You don't say the university, you say the university. <laughs> when you say the university, it means that it, that is the only university. <laughs> so imagine that pride. That pride must have be found a way of sustaining it and a sense of great belonging to this university. It takes two to time <laughs> to take the university and the alumni to create a board that would allow us to build this university to the next level. We all owe this university a lot. And I believe naturally we are a grateful people and we'd like to show our gratitude. But we must be given an opportunity and we must be given the structures and the mechanism of engagement. We all Kenyans, about 85%, subscribe to the regions. Why don't we make Nairobi University a religion? <laughs> we, like with the bank, have been able to create a movement. How can people pay to belong to work with the bank and to say they are members? And yet, after spending three years here, and Dr. Betty Gikoyo spending five plus another two, seven, she has never called herself a member of Nairobi University. We must find 
the mechanism that will attract us because we would like to make our contribution. It's a virtue to show gratitude, virtue to be generous, and particularly to those who have been kind to you. This university was very kind to us. Very, very kind and generous to us. We were very treated well. Professor Maria, well, she treated us very, very well. The second thing I want to say, we are in the business field. How can this university interact with us in a way that we could understand? If I had Professor Ishaga very well, he said with the knowledge he has accumulated, he wished he could be given another chance. And James there, running a bank with nearly 400 billion shillings, is wishing if he had knowledge that Professor Gishaga had, <laughs> or has, to turn it into money. <laughs> Yes, both of us are in the same university, a university that has failed to connect us. If this university connected us, we would both make a lot of money, give some of it to Nairobi University. <coughs> Equity, use a lot of consulting services, and I think we use all the consulting firms in Nairobi. But nationally, the consultants who tend to come to the, uh, to, to the bank, are barely more than three years into their careers. They are last year and last year but one graduates of this university. And then they come to teach me about the fashion. Uh, uh, I wonder if Nairobi University would organize itself and said some of the professors that I interacted with here, who during that time I saw them wearing very bottom. <laughs> I saw them wear jeans. I saw them wear pipes. And now you can see what they are wearing. When we talk about vash, uh, fashion, it will be practical knowledge. It will not be theoretical book knowledge. It is fashion that we have lived. Universities are generally custodians of knowledge. But that knowledge is not permitting to industry to make us make money so that we can give back to the university. <laughs> so it's the university that of Nairobi that has tended to be too mean to us to help us to make enough money to give it back. If we can solve this that puzzle, it will be very easy for us to extend that great generosity to this university. I wish what used to be called, and we really used to demand, uh, our lecturers going to senior common room. I wish there could be an alumni common room where we would be coming to have a drink on a Friday afternoon. Because as you saw, when you invite us, we are here. And during those interactions, I will have the emotional connection with the youth, university, and I will understand. There are basic things that we can do with this university to create the board that would allow us to be able to do quite a lot of things together with the university. So let's work together and find a mechanism that will create the board the sense of belonging, the sense of ownership, the pride or esteem of belonging that will make us walk with pride. And let the doors be open. If people will be coming after that a years, mm, they will have found other places they will be going and that is where they will be giving. The Nairobi University must create issues that we can share that makes us feel Nairobi University and which are unique to Nairobi University, which can't be practiced by anybody else, and that you can't practice alone.